I think it's pretty well accepted now. If you can delay the onset of experimentation, you decrease the probability of that individual developing an addiction. If you can prevent a 16-year-old from experimenting until they're 19, they're probably going to have less of a problem with it. They're, they're going to find out when they're 20, 21 that I don't need it. Whereas if they're starting at 14, 15, 16, not that easy for them to make that decision. Yeah, doobies all day long at 420. But how much is too much? And if you stop, can the brain reverse the damage? Yeah, the medical field has determined that your brain doesn't fully mature until about 25th year. Mm. You know, the frontal part of the, the body, the one that deals with all the rational decision making is the last part of the brain to develop and it's not developed until your, your mid 20s. That, it's all the other, the pleasure centers, all, all that stuff developed first. Yeah, I have pretty severe brain damage from experimenting with psilocybin mushrooms when I was 12, 13. I personally began drug use quite early in life, but never really proceeded to do drugs like benzos or opiates, mainly because my experience when I was 14, acquiring a condition called HPPD from using psilocybin mushrooms scared me away from the life of hard drugs in favor of alcohol and stuff like that. But I do think that either way, even if I'd been told about the dangers of drugs, I probably still wouldn't have listened. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I think that people have to learn for themselves and figure out what works for them.